It wasn't until the Obama administration that they actually came out and said, Area 51 is a real thing. We need more land. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever see the video of Bob Lazar, the guy who used to work there? Have you ever seen that guy? That's a I wild I was following one. old Bob Lazar. Yeah. What do you think about that? Do you think he's telling the truth? <clears throat> Here's the thing, Joe. Just, just an opinion, but what I find fascinating is the lack of imagination in any of these stories where imagination could apply. Like... Like if someone was bullshit, you'd see evidence of it, <laughs> like, right? Because that's right, the thing. If people right. bullshit, they kind of bullshit about everything, right? Because like, they think they're smart enough to trick you. No one's smart enough to come up with one story only their whole life. Their whole life, they're straight down the middle, square, tell the truth all the time. But one time, they decide to have a whopper of a lie and just fabricate this thing and structure no, it. You're seeing somebody tell you a story. That is the only explanation for certain things that are happening. Yeah. Like, Especially he tells you a story and then you have independent people who also used to work for the government now becoming whistleblowers and saying there's a crashed retrieval program. Crashed UFO <laughs> retrieval program. It goes back to what I'm saying, Joe. These are the th This is how you say this without getting canceled. Look. You do think they're doing something, don't you? <laughs> they're doing something. They wouldn't we, tell us because everything we, they're doing. We want to believe, like, yeah. nobody's doing nothing. Like, no, no, we're doing stuff. Like They're doing something. <laughs> they're just not telling us. That, that's part of it, though, right? You know what the people involved in the retrieval call the vehicles? They call them donations. Right. Well, because... Um, that's what they think they are. They think that the limited times that these crafts have shown themselves. You didn't, you as the driver or the occupant didn't mean for that to be your destination. And um, you don't take anything. Uh, you only give. Therefore, that's why it's known as a donation. Mm. Because it's like... Um, it's what you would say if one of those meteors that we were talking about, if one just the size of a refrigerator landed in your backyard, like a billion dollars can land in your backyard, easy peasy. Or obliterate an entire city <laughs> and send everybody back to the Stone Age. That's the wildest one. Right, but the... But it's not that wild if you look at the moon. Right. The moon shows you the evidence, and that's a <laughs> Pelt thing. It. Right. Like, if we could just look at it, it's just filled with holes. Right. <laughs> Big fucking craters all over that you could see with the naked eye. Well, I'm saying most of the people that are in America and drive in urban settings know what potholes are. And so, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah. This is a weird time where people are just starting to pay attention to so many of these subjects. And so many of these things, like, are we alone? Have there been advanced civilizations before? How did we it's, become it, us? It's been a conversation at all points in, yeah. in time. Like, but more people are having it now without fear of being labeled an idiot. Well, it's because information is now... Um, a free commodity whereas in different points in history it wasn't like